Hello, I'm Alan Proethis with Capstone Partners, and today we're here with Ram Ganesh from CyberEye. Yeah, hi. So, welcome, Ram. Thanks a lot. Uh, Although it's, it's funny saying welcome to you since you're so intimately involved with uh, the Things Network. The Things Network, yeah. <laughs> but let's let's start out with CyberEye. Tell us about uh, your company and what exactly do you do? Yeah, uh, we are a private networks uh, provider uh, in India and also we do a lot of smart utilities and uh, also smart agriculture and uh, smart cities projects in India. So uh -huh. uh, since last two years we are associated with the Things Industries and the Things Network. And uh, you know we also do something called the Things uh, Conference India which is, of course, uh, after the, the global one, this, that's the largest conference in the, in the world. Wow, now, now that's a lot for one company to take on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, for sure. just the organization of one of these conferences is a big job. Yeah, sure, definitely, you know, uh, the conference is always a big project in itself, <laughs> so there is no, and you know, the momentum that you see, and also you know, the kind of ecosystem that Things Network has built, that's phenomenal, here. you know, just last week, uh, uh, there is a remote part of the country in India, so suddenly one guy uh, just wanted to uh, start a Things Network community in the local one. Uh -huh. Typically, these are the places where there is no real, uh, even cellular connectivity is a bit lesser there, mm -hmm. and he just wanted to start this TTN community and, uh, you know, reached out to us for the support. And you know this is something uh, uh, that that the impact of uh, Things Network has been uh, can be seen in the, such kind of scenarios. You well, know, well that's part of the big advantage of the business model, yeah. right? That anyone can put their hand up and decide yeah. to participate. Yeah. And all of a sudden you can join this this crowdsourced network, which is why it's gotten yes. so big. So I know I know uh, Venki yesterday was talking about globally um, over eighteen thousand gateways yeah. in the network. Yeah. So help us understand. Uh, how big is the network in India right now in terms of the network, in terms of even the lorry ecosystem? Yeah, uh, definitely, you know, uh, off late, uh, you have a, a very spread out and, uh, you know, regional uh, networks in India. But, uh, yeah, uh, it, there should be, it is still at the nascent phases compared to the European market, that is for sure. But uh, one thing that is picking up a lot is, you know, people uh, through the conference also, they got to know about the Things Network and now they are starting up, you know, everyone is starting just, uh, okay, uh, uh, all that I need to do is just uh, bring a gateway and uh, just plug it on and just uh, it can be run in 15 minutes, yeah. nothing more than that. So uh, that idea is taking up a place. Now, earlier the phenomenal uh, phenomena has to be like this, uh, uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore and Hyderabad, sure. these are the places where uh, most activity used to happen. But now is not that is not the case. That is what I was just saying uh, last week. We are also equally surprised to see someone in the northeastern India uh, mm -hmm. reaching out, and uh, you know he started the community also TTN Infall, and uh, he is uh, right now setting up the gateway. So uh, uh, reaching out to that level itself shows that you know the uh, the kind of reach that Things Network has already done. But yeah, this year we will see a lot of a uh, lot of activity happening in that uh, that area. That's uh, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a huge country. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> no doubt about it, it. It probably is never going to work to cover with a public LPWAN network. Yeah. So you you almost have to cover it like this, or else yeah. you just never get the the coverage. Yeah. Uh, given the way the population is spread out. Yeah, sure. There's no doubt about it. Uh, uh, the currently uh, the uh, net, uh, you know, the coverage is also a bit uh, limited right now. So uh, one thing is that is picking up is you know a lot of these government bodies and all they got convinced about LoRa, and now they are saying that you know either they want we want our own network, uh, uh, so that you just set it up uh, for us, or yeah. they just just going uh, the uh, you know or just going with the public network guys. Uh -huh. So either ways uh, you know uh, now it is now is the time that India will pick up a lot in in terms of the uh, LoRa and ecosystem a lot this year is what we are expecting. That's wonderful. And then talk to us about the uh, LoRa ecosystem outside the Things Network yeah. in terms of sensors, uh, yeah. SIs. I mean, what, what does that look like in India today? Yeah, uh, so one thing is uh, that we also have uh, seen phenomenal growth is definitely uh, uh, we have uh, microchip uh, uh, modules also in India. So, and also ACSIP and some other companies also have their own module ecosystem. So based on that, there are a lot of device makers who are already taking, uh, you know, uh, using, uh, earlier they used to be with either GSM or Wi-Fi based uh, sure. devices, and now they're migrating. So the device maker, there are a lot many device makers in India, okay? So it's not that uh, the manufacturing ecosystem or and all is not so strong like that. There is already there, but you know, that is uh, traditionally been in the traditional markets. Now they're migrating, uh, looking at the potential this has, and the complete, uh, the control that these people have, uh, they're right, right now migrating. That is one phenomenon we are looking at. And the other thing, when it comes to networks, so 
most of these uh, uh, businesses and the governments, right now they are uh, looking at having their own private networks. That is one other phenomenon that we are looking at. And the third part, and uh, of course the uh, important part also is on the visualization and the IoT platform thing. So right now uh, uh, there are a couple of companies we have seen which are doing that, you know, uh, the system integrators and uh, these guys are uh, majorly focusing on the platform thing. So that, you know, essentially uh, this, all three, this coupled up, they can, you know, provide end-to-end -end solution for the end customers. That's so fantastic. that is uh, as part of the ecosystem point of view, but uh, majorly the clients we are looking at, uh, smart utilities is definitely one of the biggest market in India. Uh, wow. be it water meters, gas meters, and electricity meters. And uh, apart from this thing, the other thing that is also picking up is a smart agriculture and also smart buildings. Mm. So these are the two other areas also, which is uh, really phenomenally picking up. Uh, apart from the uh, this, uh, we also are seeing some growth in uh, uh, street lights and also parking. Well, it sounds like a huge opportunity. So yeah. you have to tell us before you go, though, when is your next uh, Things Network conference in India? Yeah, actually, we are uh, generally, typically, whenever we come to the global one, we generally dis uh, you know, discuss with uh, the team, uh, the Things Industries, and uh, the Things Network, uh, VM and Johan, and uh, then typically decide. Yeah. So uh, uh, we are somewhere expecting it to be somewhere uh, between August to uh, October or something like that. Uh -huh. So we just need to finalize the exact dates, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because it's always tricky. Uh, but, but so we know it'll, it'll be announced, though, the date will be announced in the next month or so? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's for sure. So plenty of time to plan for the fall, so yeah. you can get your tickets and uh, <laughs> sure. head out for the uh, the big conference in India. Yeah, thanks a lot. Wonderful. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, thanks a lot for the opportunity. Awesome.